everyone, my name is Belle. I attend Hamid Elementary School and I'm in the fourth grade. Today, I will introduce a book, Matilda. Mr. Wormwood and Mrs. Wormwood has two children. They are their son Michael and their daughter Matilda. Matilda is a genius. She is the smartest child in the world. When she was three, she read all newspapers and magazines in the house. Every morning, her dad, mom, and brother went out. Then she went to library. The librarian, Mrs. Pinley, helps Matilda choose books so she can read the famous novels. At dinner, Mr. Wormwood talked about his business stories proudly. He needs to sell cars, but he is a bad guy. He buys crystal dust and he mixed a lot of food with the oil. He bought 150 km old car and he brought the automatic back to 1 km. Matilda's dad had a nice hat. He always wore this hat. When dad and mom were sleeping, Matilda took the hat and she did something. It was time to go to work. Mr. Wormwood wore the hat. Long time after, he came back home. He wanted to take off the hat, but it got stuck to the, his head. He couldn't take it off. Finally, Mrs. Wormwood had to cut off the head and his hair. Matilda went to her friend Fred's house. He has a parrot. I can, it can say two things. Hello and rattle my bone. Matilda borrowed this parrot and brought her home. Then she hid in the chimney. When her family was watching TV, the parrot said hello inside the chimney. Hello, hello, hello. Her family was uh, very surprised and ran away from the living room. It said again, rattle my bone, rattle my bone. The family thought that a ghost was uh, in the living room. The next day, Matilda gave the parrot back to Fred. Matilda said, we had a fun time. Matilda said, wonderful tricker. Today, he sold five cars. First car was bought for $278 and sold for the $14.25. Second car was bought for $180 and sold for $716. Third car was bought for $111 and sold for $999.50. Fourth car was bought for $86 and sold for $699.50. Fifth car was bought for $600 and sold for $649.50. He said, Michael, is Time made there, Mr. Wormwood said. Correct answer was in the paper. $43.50. Matilda said. What? Mr. Wormwood said. $43.50. Matilda said again. Okay. I know it's correct answer. 
You're cheating, Mr. Wormwood said. Nobody said the answer this fast. I'm not cheating, Matilda said. You're a liar, Mr. Wormwood said. Matilda said things proudly of his hair. His hair color is black. Every morning, he put oil of violet on his hair. Matilda's mom's hair color was platinum blonde. Her hair dye was made of peroxide. This morning, when Matilda Parents were sleeping. Matilda stole dad's hair oil and mom's hair dye. She dropped her hair dye in dad's hair oil. She closed two bottles and shook dad's bottle. Then she came back to the to her room. When dad woke up. He put his hair oil on his hair. He put to have breakfast, and he saw the mirror. His hair color turned platinum blonde. Matilda was five years old, so she went to school. Her school's name was. Crunchham Hall. The school's head teacher was Miss Trunchbull. She was very big and scary. Matilda's teacher was Miss Sunny. She was very young and very kind. The first time they learned about multiplication, Matilda said the correct answer very fast, but the question was very difficult. Like、uh, fourteen times nineteen, Miss Honey thought that Matilda was a genius. Miss Honey went to Trunchbull to ask something. She told her that Matilda was a genius, so she wanted to put her in a high-level class. But Trunchbull didn't like. This idea. She thought Matilda has to be the lawyer class. When the class was over, Miss Sunny visited Matilda's house and talked about her. Miss Sunny thought Matilda was a genius, but Matilda's parents thought she is a nitwit. The next day, Matilda and Violet met Hortensia at school. She put the golden syrup on Trunchbull's chair, so she went into the chucky. Chucky's door had shaped nails, and the wall had pieces of glass. Hortensia went into the chucky many times, and she was in there all the time. Everyone, come to the hall," said the Trunchbull in the hall. Trunchbull called Bruce Bog Trotter. Where is Bruce Bog Trotter? One fat boy came to her. Crunchyball said that Rose stole her chocolate cake, so he had to finish one big chocolate cake. Rose did his best, and he ate all of the cake. The students cheered, but Crunchyball stayed quiet and went back. Matilda's friend Lavender wanted to. Disobeyed Trunchbull. Near the house, there was a small pond. In the pond, some newts lived. Lavender caught one newt, and the next day, she put the newt in Trunchbull's water bottle. It was the day of Trunchbull's weekly test. First, the principal checked the students' hand whether 
then they were clean. Nigel hands were a dirty, so Turntable said to him that he needed to stand off one leg during the test. Next, he test multiplication. Rupert said two times seven is sixteen, so Trunchbull picked her up and dropped him. That student has to take word. Test, but Eric says the spelling of what is W H O T. So Trunchbull grabbed Eric's. In Arthur and picked him up and down. Crunchyball was thirsty, so she poured the water into the cup. Do you remember Lavender put a newt in the Crunchyball's water pot? In the cup, there was a newt. Crunchyball screamed. She the. Dubbed Matilda, so she was very angry. Matilda concentrated on the water cup and the newt. The cup shook slowly, slowly, and slowly, and it fell. The newt flew to Trunchbull and stuck. She screamed very loudly, and she ended it to weekly test. Matilda wanted to talk about her power, so she told everything to Miss Honey. Miss Honey didn't believe it at first, so Matilda showed her power. She concentrated all her power on her eyes. And said, "Fall to the her Miss Mine." The cow and the cow fell. Miss Honey was very surprised, and she told Matilda to go with her to her house. Matilda and Miss Honey went to the Miss Honey's house. Her house was very small and old cottage. Miss Honey was very poor. She only ate bread, margarine, and tea. She washed with water from a well. Matilda and Miss Honey talked about Matilda's power. Miss Honey told her story to Matilda. When she was two years old, her mom died, and when she was five years old, her dad died too. So Miss Honey lived with her aunt. Her aunt was a devil. She took away Miss Honey's. Salary. Matilda asked、uh, as name. Miss Honey said Miss Trunchbull. Matilda was surprised. Miss Honey told more stories. She found this cottage. She gave bread for a month to a farmer who wants the cottage, and she left the. At house, Matilda listened to all of the story. She asked Miss Honey's her dad and her aunt's name, and Miss Honey's said her dad's name was Magnus. Trunchbull's name is Agatha, and her name is Jenny. Matilda said thanks and went back to her house. Matilda had a wonderful plan. She practiced to achieve the 
did. He took her dead cigar and put it on the table in her bedroom. She focused all of her power in her eyes and said, "Oh." Then it went off very slowly and fell. Matilda slid up on her bed. She was happy. The next day, it was Portugal weekly test. She was affected. Judas and the child went up and wrote something itself. It wrote Agatha. I'm Magnus. Give back Jenny house. Give back Jenny's money. If you don't do it, I'm going for kill you. Miss Trunchbull fainted. The next day, report teacher said Miss Trunchbull disappeared. Everyone was happy. Now her house became Miss Honey's house. Matilda always went to Miss Honey's house, but one day, Matilda went into her house and her family were packing up. They were moving to Spain. Matilda told all of the stories and she said, "I want to live with Miss Honey." To her parents, they said okay and went to the airport. Matilda and Miss Sonia lived happily ever after. My art project: I drew a little poster. I drew Matilda's picture and her daughter. Matilda is the recommend book for her daughter. She is a genius, like her mother. I drew this poster because I want to know Matilda's picture. Now my presentation is done. Thank you for listening.